So welcome back to Company Comparables Part 2. For those of you that have just watched this video for the first time, we do have Part 1 available on the Finchute website. So just go to the Finchute, so www.finchute.com website where you'll find Part 1 of this tutorial there and then you can follow along from here. So what we're going to do today is just create this very, very basic company comps here and the reason being is we want to be able to use Bloomberg with Excel and get familiar with that because um, you will be doing that a lot in your careers. Okay, so where I've picked these four particular ratios from is just under the Bloomberg quotes. So BQ and this is how we get these particular ratios here that I've used. It's just for an example, you can put anything you like into these fields um, and it'll propagate them. So what I've done is just created very simply another sheet here and you can follow me along from here. So with company name here, we just want to put name at the top. Okay, and what we're going to do is go equals Bloomberg data point, open parenthesis, click on the ticker code, comma, name, close parenthesis and just make sure that our name is going to be absolute and follow that along. Now you may come to a point where you, you don't necessarily know what to put up in these fields or wherever so what you'd want to do is get familiar with using the field search so FLDS will bring you to that and you can type whatever you like in here but it is important to note that you need to be able to have Excel and Bloomberg opened at the same time and you need to be able to have the Bloomberg tab on your Excel so generally most will if you're sitting at the computer where the Bloomberg is installed so if we don't know what the actual name is for price to book here we can have a look by typing price to book ratio into the field and it'll give us a list of different ones that we can use. So in today's example, we're going to use this one here. So you have a few options, um, but to make life easier, we are going to type it in, but you can just simply pull, drag that across, and that will propagate it. As you can see up the top here, that's brought all the fields that we need into. But what we're gonna do is just try to make it a little bit easier by using the actual on IKEA and we can paste that there delete this just clean that up okay and now we can use this so here we want to go again get familiar with it equals Bloomberg data point open brackets uh, we want to click on the company name comma a price to book just make sure that that is absolute and we get the price to book. So you can do this and search for all of them. Um, if you do know them, you can just simply put in price to sales ratio. Okay. And again, here we're going to go equals Bloomberg data point. Very simple, like I said, I just want you to get used to uh, completing one of these and giving it a go and then you can get used to uh, using Bloomberg and Excel. So continue that along. Price to cash flow. Absolute. Now once again, say we don't know what this particular one is, I'm going to go and search for that again by going into fields and we're looking for EV over EBITDA. Okay, so we're going to use the trailing 12 month. So in here, you can just follow it along and type EV to trailing 12 month EBITDA because Bloomberg data point
again, making these absolute. You can imagine doing an enormous spreadsheet of, of comps. You want to be able to streamline this as much as possible to make life um, easier for yourself. Now I'm just going to get average these out, so we've got ourselves a nice mean there. And I'll follow that along. Make them bold. Oh, we can even get rid of the whole company ticker section if we like as well. So we will hide this one. Can I hide that? And there's our very, very basic comp. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask us and be sure to like and comment on the video. Thanks for watching. This has been another video from Finchute. If you like these, please visit us at finchute.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe at YouTube.